In our weather update Typhoon Jelina makes fourth landfall in Samar, heads for Mass Bay Typhoon Jelina, Kinson, hits Almagro, Samar, at 6.30 a.m. on Tuesday, September 7. More areas are placed under tropical cyclone wind signals, including Metro Manila at signal number 1. Typhoon Jelina, Kinson, made its fourth landfall in Almagro, Samar, at 6.30 a.m. on Tuesday. September 7, and proceeded to move toward Masbate. The typhoon's landfalls, so far, have been in the following areas, 1. Hermony, Eastern Samar, 10 p.m., Monday, September 6 2. Durham, Samar, 2 a.m., Tuesday, September 7 3. Santo Nino, Samar, 3.40 a.m., Tuesday, September 7 4. Almagro, Samar, 6.30 a.m., Tuesday, September 7 In a bulletin released past 8 a.m. on Tuesday, the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration, Pagasa, said Jelina was already over the coastal waters of Almagro, or over the Samar Sea. The typhoon slightly slowed down, moving west-northwest at 15 km per hour from the previous 20 km per hour. It continues to have maximum sustained winds of 120 km per hour, while its gustiness is up to 150 km per hour. While signal number 1 has been lifted in a few areas, some places like Metro Manila and Cavite have been added to the list as of 8 a.m. on Tuesday. Signal number 3, destructive typhoon force winds, northern and eastern parts of Masbate, Pio V Corpus, Palanas, Catangan, Placer, Dimasalang, Yusan, Kawayan, Esperanza, Mobo, Aroroi, Balano, Masbate City, Mandan, Milagros, including Takao and Barayas Islands, extreme western part of northern Samar, San Vicente, Capal, San Isidro, San Antonio, northern part of Biliran, Kawayan, Maripipi, Almeria, northwestern part of Samar, Santo Nino, Tagapalan, Almagro, Calbog City, Signal No. 2, Damaging Gale Force to Storm Force Winds, Albay, Sorsagon, Rest of Masbate, Western and Southern Parts of Camarine Sur, Del Galego, Lupi, Ragay, Libmanan, Sapocat, Cabuzao, Biscao, Pamplona, Gainsa, Camilagan, Canaman, Magrao, Bombon, Naga City, Pile, Ocampo, Iriga City, Sagnay, Bay, Mylar, San Fernando, Mynalabac, Bula, Nabua, Bal, Balatan, Bado, Calabanga, western part of Camarines Norte, Capalonga, Jose Panganiban, Labo, San Vicente, San Lorenzo Ruiz, Santa Elena, Marinjic, southern part of Quezon, Taggawayan, Guinayangan, Buenavista, Malane, San Narciso, San Francisco, San Andres, Catanon, Caloag, General, Luna, Lopez, McLellan, Perez, Alabot, Quezon, Atamanan, Padre Burgos, Agdangan, Unizan, Pitago, Gamaca, Plaridal, Eastern part of Romblin, San Fernando, Magdawang, Cajadiacan, Romblin, Banton, Corcura, Rest of Biliran, Western part of Northern Samar, Silvino Lobos, Lope de Viga, Catarman, Boban, San Jose, Rosario, Levas Airs, Biri, Allen, Victoria, Mondragon, Rest of Samar, Northern Part, of Late, Calubian, San Isidro, Tabango, Late, Vilaba, Matagob, Cananga, Caragara, Juro, Pastrana, Santa Fe, Tacloban City, Barugo, San Miguel, Alangalang, Tonga, Babangon, Kapugan, Signal No. 1, Strong Winds with Occasional Gusts, Catanjuanes, Rest of Camarines Sur, Rest of Camarines Nort, Rest of Quezon including Palillo Islands, Laguna, Cavite, Batangas, Metro Manila, Bulacan, Rest of Romblin, Oriental Mindoro, Rest of Northern Samar, Rest of Eastern Samar, Rest of Late, Northern Part of Southern Late, Silago, Bontoc, Sogod, 
northern part of Cebu, Carmen, Tuburan, Catman, Sogod, Tabulan, Borbon, Tabagan, San Remigio, Bogo City, Medellin, Dan Bantayan, including Camotes and Bantayan Islands, northeastern part of Iloilo, Concepcion, Sara, San Dionisio, Batad, Estancia, Carls, Balazan, northern part of Aklan, Malay, Nabas, Ibaje, Tangalan, Makado, Newmansha, Lizzo, New Washington, Calabo, Baton, Altavas, northern part of Capas, Pilar, Pana, Roxas City, Sapian, Ivizan, Pontvedra, Panatan, President Roxas, Maayon, Delina will continue to trigger rain on Tuesday, mainly in eastern Visayas, Baikal, and Mamaropa. Affected areas were advised to stay on alert for scattered to widespread floods and landslides. Heavy to intense rain, with at times torrential rain, northern Samar, eastern Samar, Samar, Late, Bilirin, Sorsagon, Albay, Masbate, Romblin moderate to heavy rain, with at times intense rain, rest of Visayas, rest of Baikal, southern part of Kazan, Occidental Mine Doro. Oriental Mine Doro, Marinjik Pagasa also said early, Tuesday morning that in the next 24 hours, storm surges 0.5 to 1 meter high may hit coastal areas in these provinces, Bilirin, Sorsagon, Samar, Masbate storm surges would pose a threat to life and property, warned the State Weather Bureau. In addition, coastal areas of localities under, tropical cyclone wind signals, especially those at number 2 and number 3, may experience coastal flooding due to hazardous surf conditions, Pagasa said. Jelina also continues to affect coastal waters on Tuesday. Rough to very rough seas, waves 2.5 to 5 meters high, travel risky for all vessels, inexperienced mariners should seek safe harbor, seaboards of areas under signal nose. 2 and 3 moderate to rough seas. Waves 1.2 to 2.8 meters high, small vessels must take precautionary measures, inexperienced, mariners should avoid navigation, seaboards of areas under signal number 1, remaining seaboards of Visayas, northern and eastern seaboards of Mindanao Jelina's fifth landfall could be in Masbate, either in the mainland or in Tikal Island, also on Tuesday. After that. The typhoon could head northwest toward Barayas Island and the Rage Gulf, then make another landfall in the southeastern part of Kazan on Tuesday evening or early Wednesday morning, September 8. As it crosses land, it may also weaken into a severe tropical storm. By Wednesday afternoon, Jelina could emerge over Lopez Bay, then make yet another landfall in the northern part of Kazan. It will cross central Luzon for the rest of Wednesday until Thursday morning, September 9, which would be to the east and north of Metro, Manila. During this time, it may weaken into a tropical storm. Finally, Jelina could emerge over the West Philippine Sea before noon on Thursday. It may regain strength beginning Thursday afternoon as it heads for the southern China northern Vietnam area it is likely to leave the Philippine area of responsibility, Bar. On Friday morning, September 10. Projected path. Forecast track of typhoon, Jelina, Kinsen, as of September 7, 2021, 8 a.m. Pagasa aside from Jelina, another tropical cyclone is expected to enter par on Wednesday morning, to be given the local name Giko. It was still a tropical depression before dawn on Tuesday, but it may intensify before entering par. It was last spotted 1,685 kilometers east of central Luzon. Pagasa said the chances of landfall are slim, but a tropical, cyclone wind signal may be raised for Baytanes if the potential Giko goes near the province. Read, Fast Facts, Tropical Cyclones, Rainfall Advisories, Jelina is a Philippines 10th tropical cyclone for 2021 and the 1st for September. Kiko would be the 11th for the year. This has been Leslie Kim Martin reporting.